Johnson City Schools is reviewing options on how to cover the loss of millions of dollars in pre-budgeted funding. This is News Channel 11 at 5. I'm Ansley Daniel. Sarah Diamond has the evening off. This comes after the approval of the Washington County's budget last Thursday for the next fiscal year. This would cut money to both the county and city school systems. The county has given sales tax revenue to the county and city school system since the early 90s. Now those school systems are working with with the city of Johnson City to identify options that they have as they look for some additional revenue. News Channel 11's Clarice Shaley has more on the plans to close this budget gap. Yeah, Ainsley, a little under a week after Washington County's budget approval, Johnson City Schools tells me they have been looking at options on how to cover around $2 million of lost revenue, all within five weeks until the next school year begins. A busy summer day at Johnson City's central office as they prepare for the school year. What's the position? Uh, awesome. And find ways to cover around $2 million of lost and expected revenue. A cut superintendent of Johnson City Schools, Steve Barnett, wishes they could have worked into the budget. It's one of those things where we start our budget in December of last year and the fiscal year begins July 1st. So it's late in the fiscal year to have this kind of information, this kind of cut. Since this news, they've been working through recommendations that have to be brought to the school board. We'll work through this and work through this budget cycle. It will not impact uh, employee pay raises. Assistant City Manager for the City of Johnson City, Randy Trivett, says the city has been working with the school system on their options. Um, I talked to the finance director at the schools this morning to get a couple of ideas of what they're looking at. Ideas like using money that becomes available as the district pays off a debt and taking money originally planned for in the budget and paying for that out of their fund balance. This leaves around $300,000 to $400,000 still left over to cover, which Trivet says may come from leftover money not used in the city budget. So we're always uh, wanting to fund schools the best that we can fund them. And when we see some type of uh, revenue reduction for our school system or our operating side, uh, that's never something that we're very happy about. Again, Dr. Barnett says no official plans will be set until the school board is able to review them at their next meeting. And the next school board meeting is August 7th.